I am Trapper Linsinks, and today I am checking out Chroma Lab. Not because I think the world is just anxious to see this, but because I like the concept and also I wanted something to stress my new computer. <laughs> so Chroma Lab is a toy. It is a particle physics simulation thing. It's not a game. It's not an experience, although it is it is an experience in, a, in its own right, but it's more of just a toy. This is a simple thing that you load up, that you play around with, and then you put it down, and then you show some people that are new to VR, hey, look, this is pretty cool, and then you move on. I've always been fascinated by like the physics simulation type games where you are basically combining a bunch of particles and making them explode or do other various things or just having nothing but particles and you know, like on my phone where you just move your hand around and it changes where gravity is and it makes some really cool effects. So whenever I saw this, I was instantly excited about it because I don't know how much money I've spent over the past decade on various particle simulation games, just, just simple apps that I can use while laying down for bed and getting ready to go to sleep. Sadly, VR is not quite to the state where I can put this on while going to bed, but nonetheless, I was excited whenever I saw that this was a thing. But like I said, there's not a whole lot to this game. You have several different palettes that you can use on each controller to have different interactions. You can like pull gravity and pull all the objects towards it. Uh, you can have other things that like dramatically pushes it all the way, or just like an object where you can move things around and pass them around, and other various ways that you can manipulate the objects around you. On top of that, there's quite a few settings to change how the particles react just in general, having more gravity in the scene itself, having no gravity, having more particles, making them move faster, all various things that can tweak the way that they you know, move around. Another really cool point is that he integrated music into this. Whatever sound is coming out of your desktop, the particles react to the rhythm or to the notes that are coming through it. I enjoy this game for what it is. It is just a simple tour where I can just get in, relax, nothing stressful, I'm not having to fight zombies, I'm not having to fight my way through a horde of enemies, I can just move particles around. And so, you know, there's a time and a place for that. Whenever I get home tired after work, I may not want to swing a sword, I may just want to have things floating around me, and that should be good enough. Now, apart from my interest in just the physics stuff, there was the other benefit of this game, potentially taxing my computer. Anytime you have physics-based games, you are heavily utilizing the CPU. If you don't know, I just got a monster computer built, and so I was hoping to stress this thing out. Sadly for me, good for everybody else, is that it doesn't actually work off of the CPU. It looks like he's doing most of the physics work through the GPU. So even if you don't have an insane processor, as long as you have a decent graphics card, you're gonna be able to get the same results that I show here. All right, I'm gonna stop talking for a second because there's really not too much left that I can say. Uh, and here's some footage of just the various interactions that you can do.
So ultimately, I like this. I think it's fun. Do I think it's worth $10? No, not at all. Do I think it's worth $5? Eh, I, I've, I've paid, you know, two, three, four dollars for just a little app that pretty much does the same thing in a flat screen. So probably, honestly, I would say that three dollars is probably a worthwhile investment for this game. You know, you're not going to play this thing a whole lot. This is probably something you're just going to be, you know, playing once every now and again, showing off to new people in VR just because it is incredibly, like, visually stimulating. And I like the way that it interacts. And it's just, it's a good introductory type title. But that's it, guys. I am done here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you didn't, hit the downvote button and tell me what I can do to make these videos better. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.